back. Uh, this is Joff. Uh, my channel is called Joff's Groove. And since we are all about groove, today we're going to talk about the funky groove. There is a lot of songs out there, very legendary funk tracks and funk anthems. So you can all learn them. And I guess you can all learn them here on YouTube because it's all been done before and it's been done very well. So it's not what I'm going to do. So obviously we're going to look at some typical patterns taken from songs that everybody knows uh, but we're not going to learn them we're just going to look at them and try to understand what it's about and what uh, funk rhythm guitar is about in the first part i'm gonna show you a little bit of the typical chords and voicings that i usually used um, in funk songs and afterwards we're going to do some we're gonna look at the technique which is very much based on the 16th patterns this we're gonna look at and of course the main point will not be to learn the special songs but to find your own groove. So now let's talk about the chords that are used in funk music. There are mainly two things about this, uh, this chords used in funk music. It's they're usually are simple chords with an extension and they are usually not playing the bass tone because these extensions are often just a replacement of the bass notes or an addition of color spice or harmony so if we take for example um, a typical funk track like uh, sex machine by james brown we'll have this funny thing here think about it so It's actually not that chord, it's this chord, which is an E flat 9. Here is the, extent, the first extension that we have, which is uh, the 9th, which is none other than the second note on the scale, played uh, octave higher. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here we go, it's the same tone as here, it's an F, we are an E flat. And um, so what he's doing here is just playing these strings, so the D, G, and B string, and then adding this little extension here, and then it goes like this. And that's how it goes. You could also just take this chord a step higher. It will be almost the same. Yeah, that sounds quite familiar. But I think he actually just uses the pinky to play on top of it. The second thing is that they usually won't use the root note because the root note is for the bass. Because remember, we're in funk music and funk music is very bass driven. So why would you bother the bass with your little finger up here that you won't hear anyway? Just leave the space for a really pumping bass line that's gonna be deep in the pocket with the drums and you you are the rhythm player, so you focus on your rhythm, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. That's what it comes down to. Usually simple sevens chords with one extension are not, and no bass tones. Another great example for this is this uh, tune, uh, The Freak, by the band Chic. Uh, guitar player was Nile Rogers. He's still around and he's still hell of a guitar player, especially when it comes down to rhythm funk. So, I guess you know the track already, but it sounds something like that. Please don't kill me on the accuracy, huh? You see, it's not really moving that much, but it's actually a three chords progression. It's A7, A minor 7, going to D, going to C major but we're not playing the bass tones so it's pretty much simple as that if we are clever we're gonna use that finger instead of using it to play higher notes uh, lower notes sorry we're gonna use it and just leave it on the strings 
to avoid them to ring while we play the funky, funky, funky groove. Huh? So that's the point. You don't play the bass notes and you try to use your middle finger to actually keep the lower strings from ringing. So often you will find some chords if you check out tabs or if you check out tutorials or to play a, a song. You will find these strange chords and you will be like, oh, but in the end, you just have to realize what the chord is actually about. And it's usually just a simple chord that's lacking the root note. For example, this chord here is also very common in funk music. So if you hear this, it's basically a seven with a flat five. So seven flat five. In this case, it will be C sharp seven flat five. I'm on the fourth fret of the A string, so it's a C sharp. But it's actually just an A seven without a root tone. Because I don't need that bassy stuff up here. And if I would play with the bass tone, it's not that funky, same for the the, the, the freak. Huh? You can go like it's not boring and it's not funky, but if you go like it's much more funky and you have your own uh, spectrum of frequencies and you're leaving space for the other, especially for the bass. So that was it about the chords. Uh, let's move on to the technique and the groove. So when it comes down to uh, the rhythm and the technique of the rhythm, the most important thing is of course the 16th pattern. So 16th mean you're going to be playing 16th notes, which is going to be uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's this uh, typical rhythm here. So really the most important thing is just to get super comfortable with that. And uh, for this you need to practice it a little bit and really get your own style and really make your body comfortable and relax and find the proper thing because as a funk rhythm guitar player you're probably going to be playing that pattern for 6, 7, 8 or if you go like, for example, with the Afrobeat, if you listen to Fela Kuti's songs, they go like 15, 20 minutes and the rhythm guitar player is going to be the same, going to play the same thing on and on. So if you're not really relaxed and, and cool, then it's going to be a pain because you're gonna have pain, you're gonna have cramps and it's just not gonna work. So first, Get comfortable and try different patterns. And the most important thing is it's going along with the drums. So if you take a normal funky um, drum pattern, you will have the 16th note on the high or just like this. That's how it is, and so you really have to sync with this hi-hat. So uh, if your drummer is uh, dragging a little bit, if he's behind, if he's moving on, uh, you just, that's your guideline. That's your click track, it's the hi-hat. And then the whole spice is going to be pushing and releasing the fingers on your neck and from your neck, just like in uh, reggae music. Huh? So you're basically scratching, So I'm, emphasi I'm emphasizing on this. Normally, you don't want this to be there all the time because it's just gonna, if you record, it's gonna be disturbing on the record and you re don't really need that because already we have a hi-hat doing it. So it's nice if you, for example, if you use a wah-wah, then you can have this So the, for example, the tune that it was a Rolling Stone, you, you hear in the back this That's cool, but you don't really want to have it all the time. And um, in order to have this nice action, I would suggest you just 
really stick your elbow to the guitar and really loosen your wrist and you really play it from the wrist really and so get comfortable with the 16th pattern and um, find your own groove because this is what it's about it's not about playing what the others play because they're usually better at it it's about finding your own um, I like very much this one for example just take a minor 7 chord and then add the extensions with your pinky that's what I like and uh, this is what we're going to be looking at in a practical example in a minute and then if all the pieces of the engine are working properly and if we have enough oil and enough gas then it's just a truck on an endless highway of groove so here's the rhythm so we have uh, it's actually quite close to the super famous funky drummer or uh, the a main beat it's a bit slower so we can have more space to explain so you hear the 16th note on the head Now we're gonna add some bass to it. So I guess that's it for today. It's getting late already. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know if I can help with anything else in the future. All right, keep on grooving. Bye bye.